what can I say? What a better way to spend a quarantine or lockdown or freeze than to just start a YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Kaisa. I'm the creator of Mental Health Maps, and here we talk about mental health from just a regular person who rides the dragon, has been riding the dragon for quite a long time. Whew. Listen, life is not life without a huge Diet Coke in your hand. And if you visited my blog before, you're gonna know that every single one of my blog posts has an interesting word. Um, sometimes I did get lazy. Use some regular words. Like, I think there's one that's called much. Good day. I'm going to be talking about my first blog post, Sisu. That's how you say it, right? Sisu um, is a word that I came across on my hours of scrolling through the Pinterest. I scroll through all the words, and I'm like, hmm, that sounds good. Like that. Don't know how I'll ever be able to pronounce that. Hopefully I won't have to, but I'm going to have to. Sisu. 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 Yes, so just so you know, I am now 100% fluent in Finnish. When I was thinking about possibly writing a blog about all the stuff I've gone through as far as men dealing with mental illness, I was looking on Pinterest and I ran into a word. Sisu. And it was like one of those pretty like on a water calm water backdrop that you would imagine would be on the front cover of like an, an app that helps you sleep it had sisu in big letters and it just said um extraordinarily determination courage and res resoluteness in the face of extreme adversity an action mindset which enables individuals to see beyond their past limitations and into what might be Taking actions against the odds and reaching beyond the observed capacities. An integral element of Finnish culture and also universal, universal capacity for which the potential exists within all individuals. And I just love that. I was like, well, there's the name for my first blog post. And then I decided, hey, let's use words from different languages or different time periods um, in order to kind of get to the deeper meaning of what mental health is. Everybody's story is different and everybody's story is worth telling. And I'm not a therapist. I didn't study psychology in school. I, I studied geography so I can tell you where almost anything is, kind of. Don't quiz me. When I started my blog, I was not in a very good place myself. Um, it was a couple of years ago. Um, has it been inconsistent since? Yes. <laughs> Writing this blog has been a huge outlet for me as far as trying to understand the crazy crap I've gone through and also understand people in general. And I think there's a huge stigma and there's a lot we can understand just for having an open conversation about what we've been through and the different things that I've learned you know through medication and through doctor's visits through sheer moments of just goodwill towards men <laughs> or trying to um and just trying to understand how I could live my life um, to the best of my capabilities with dealing all of this nonsense, not that it's nonsense, it's very valid, um, in my head and coming to a realization that it's just, it's not me. It is a separate entity from me. And I am pretty simple as far as loving memes, dogs, and Diet Coke. Mental health is always kind of like, you know, in my darkest days, or, um, you know, today was really hard, and I, I just can't feel anything anymore. Which is true. That happens. Still happens to me all the time. Not all the time. I'm working on it. Okay, you, you get my point. There is so much light in the world, and I know <laughs> the world right now is not all that lit, <laughs> but, um... There is so much that you can find inside yourself even when you don't know 
what is inside yourself because there's a huge fear that comes with mental, you know, illnesses. It's just something that, you know, how can you explain you know, to someone? How can you say, hey, there is barely enough room for me in my head. It's heavy. But coming forward and actually just talking about it and showing that, you know, you can be happy and you can, you know, <laughs> gracefully write the dragon. <laughs> well, sometimes. And that's kind of what I'm wanting to hope to accomplish from this is that, you know, hey, we're in this together. Q and High School Musical here. Honestly, mental illness, I don't think needs to be feared. I think it honestly can be used as a superpower. You know what I mean? Um, no capes though. But sometimes I feel like when you're fighting mental illness, you know, your hands are sore, your hands are bloody, your hands are, they don't know, they're, they don't have any strength left. So how do you, how do you keep reaching out to what makes you happy? How do you keep doing that? I find that if you take a really close look at yourself and you really try to stick to your guns and remember the real principles of the thing of who you are as a core person and realize that this mental illness is not you, it's something that's happening to you, then all of a sudden it puts, it contains it, it makes it, it puts it in a box. You know, fighting this, going to the doctors, um, learning how to advocate for myself, having somebody on the phone ask me, are you stable? And that's not a good thing to say to anybody. <laughs> And I realized that was how people would talk to me if they, if they knew. And, you know, it's not a hard, it's not a big deep secret that I struggle with these things. Um, and I know there are some people who are like, oh my gosh, I wish you'd just snap out of it. Or, you know, oh, it's just the medication you were on. You know, that's not really you. It's true. You can be whoever you want to be. And that is what Sisu, is that right? And that is what Sisu is all about. It is, it is literally having the perseverance to keep on living and to keep fighting for you. So much can be, can be learned through stories and being creative and that has been my biggest thing as far as coping with my mental illness. So check out my blog post. I will put the link down in the description box and I'll see you soon. Have a nice nap. Bye.